What's going on guys, Drastic over here and I'm back with another part of our uh, Dragon Age 2 for our Road to Inquisition series and last part we finally got rid of the Canary in the city uh, we fought the Arashok in one-on-one -on -one combat to stop him from taking away Isabella and yeah that was where we are now and now we've got to deal with the Mage Templar like tension in a city. The Canari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Canari sword, return it to me. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. I was speaking to Donick the other day. Since when do you talk with my husband? He comes to the mansion once a week. We play Diamondback. What? Why am I not invited to these games? He says you get angry when you lose. I do not. All right, perhaps I do. Still, that's no reason not to tell me. He's a good man, Aveline. I enjoy his visits. Fine, fine. Have your man time, then. <laughs> ah, yeah. the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator. Who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival? Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. Okay. <clears throat> what else do we need? We're going to go to our estate. And I want to speak to our companions before we do any quests. So I always do that. Whenever there's companion stuff to be done. Let's see if we've got any messages, stuff like that. that Beware of dog. <laughs> anyway, we'll do with that in a couple of seconds. Right, your assistance. Looks it. In case you don't remember, we, we were met in the gallows. You saved my life twice, in fact. Once from that, and once from someone else. Which is Ulrich. Okay. Right, that's fine. Interested rates and all. Of I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So, what? Is my dog running about here or something? Aye. Uh, Easy boy. What is it? All right, let's see. Please don't open the door. You've caught a burglar. Good boy. <laughs> My legs are cramping. Please just let me go. You expect me to just let you walk out of here? Please, sir. I was seduced by a crime at a very young age, but your guard monster has scared me towards a path of honest work. Wouldn't you sit and talk shite to me, wee man? I feel like cutting your throat. I'm going to send you to jail. It's the dungeons for you. Go fetch a watchman, boy. Go in to fetch the watch. Dogs aren't that smart. Right? Smarter than you, anyway. <laughs> Fucking, I've been setting a path of honest work. Don't you sit and talk shit to me, wee man. Fucking, take you out. 
Right, so we need to go to Fenris's mansion. And... Yep. Fenris's mansion. Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Then heed is fast of us. Maybe I can help, Fenris. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows. The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. Yep, let's go. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. Oh, I'm coming. Don't you worry, mate. You're my homeboy. I think that will put his friendship thing up for one up. Don't know where else to get some. Magic resistance. Aye. Okay. Varric. Let's give him two willpower and one cunning. Excuse me, I call his Bianca stuff's up. Yep. Um did that. Um I see. I think that's his. Aye. So I think basically everyone they are um companions need to be spoken to. We'll go to Hangman help Fenris out because we can speak to Isabella in that way while they're During the day. It really is you. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... It's a trap. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris. Don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then. The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. Ha, <laughs> take him. I've heard enough of you. Right. He's obviously going on away. That's what he does. Never taunt him! Let's bring up fucking ass. <laughs> Look out!
Jeez, I'm not a lot. Is in background? Where did he get there? Doesn't matter. He's next. No choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister? Your sister's a mage? You bloody hypocrite. You really are just jealous. You have no idea what we went through. What I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. After what you've done? I would have given you everything. Oh. <gasps> I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. I'm here, Fenris. I feel unclean. Like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. And now this. Let's go. I need to get out of here. Right, that was fun. Ah, and does rivalry. I'm looking for a reason to kill. There is no one. Who's this? I hear the champion of Kirkwall. You look familiar, Canari. Talva Shaw. Once of the wounded ghost, I had left my fellows. You convinced me to turn on them. It was long ago. I am now Maras, mercenary of Kirkwall. Time has been kind to your name, champion. So, interested in some work? Yes, but not with you. Why? I do not work for those with titles. They do not have jobs, they have causes. When you stand for more, more stand against you. Does Maras mean something? It means nothing. I have no role, except for what I choose. Is that good or bad? It just is. Do I have to worry about this old scar? I felt no kinship to those dead when they lived. You pushed, but the killing was my choice. It led to many more, for many reasons. So no. You and I are not enemies. I'm surprised to see any Kunari or Talvashoth in the city. The Kunari died with the Arishak, as they believed they were meant to. Many Talvashoth were also killed, just in case. Time has calmed those fears. Now I am hired as much for my appearance as my skill. Life is comfortably empty. I see the appeal. Farewell, then. Panehedan, Sirah. Okay. Uh, speak to Isabella first. And I hear she uses the Arashok skull as in. How have you been? You don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. I'm just here for the rat flavoured whiskey. 
Right. Remember what you said after the mess with the Kunari. I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those Canari if you had to. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. The fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion. And I'm just a lying, thieving snake. Whatever you think you are, I still care about you. It must have been hard to give up the relic, and I appreciate it. Whatever comes, you have my support. Well, perhaps it's time to stop hiding. And I do miss the trouble we used to get into. Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. All right. Um, I know what Varys is. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh... No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Mark, what can I do for you? What was Anders here for? Only place in Kirkwall he can get a decent drink. Blondie comes by here and I put him on my tab. He's got some stories about his days in Ferelden that sound implausible, even to me. He's not bad for a mage. Crazy, but that's most everyone in this city. I'm not here on business. Just dropping by. Drinking is business, champion. You know that. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. <clears throat> right, guys, I'm going to have to cut this video short, um, but I'll be recording straight again after it. It's just something I need to do just now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and comment. As always, I'm Justice Scoob. I'll talk to you later on. Bye-bye.